statement of affairs method in partnership. Now, why would it be different in case of partnership? Let us just see. So, there is a closing capital of so much, closing capital, add drawings, less fresh capital introduced, less opening capital. This is exactly what we had done before and therefore what you get is the profit for the year. Now what happens in a partnership? This is the profit for the year and this profit is distributed to the partners in various ways. What do I mean by various ways? It could be interest, interest on capital. You may give them some salary. He may get some commission based on the profits. Some partner, one partner may get commission. A partner may be entitled to salary as per the terms of agreement of the partnership. They may be entitled to interest on capital. And finally, the profit that you get would be, would be distributed to the partners in their profit sharing ratio. So, the profits that have been earned, this is the actual total profit for the year. But it is distributed among the different partners depending on the terms of the agreement. So, there would be appropriation items like interest on capital, salary to the partner. If you reduce all this, what we get is the divisible profit which would be given to the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Which would be given to the partners in their profit sharing ratio. So, what happens is this profit for the year gets distributed to the partners in a different way. We need to know what therefore is the closing capital of individual partners. A partner has an opening capital. He has drawings, therefore the capital comes down. If he introduces fresh capital, it will go up. If he is entitled to interest on capital, if he is entitled to salary, if he is entitled to commission, because of all this, because of all this, his capital will go up. So, under a partnership, we first find out the profit for the year and then we distribute this profit among the partners depending on their terms of agreement. Not just profit sharing ratio because if some partner is entitled to a salary, if the partners are entitled to interest on capitals, etc., then the divisible profit may be different for different partners. After distributing, after appropriating the profits for interest, salary, etc., the balance remaining, what is called divisible profit, is distributed to the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Let us consider an example. <clears throat> Arun and Varun are equal partners with opening capitals of 60,000 and 40,000 respectively. End of the year, they had the following balances. Cash was 12,000, bank 35,000, furniture 48,000, debtors 25,000, creditors 20,000, prepaid insurance 5,000, investments 40,000 and outstanding salary 10,000. Ascertain the partner's capitals as at the end of the year, assuming Arun's drawings were 2,000 per month and Varun's drawings were 3,000 per month. Varun was entitled to a salary of 1,000 per month. Varun introduced fresh capital of 25,000 and partners are entitled to an interest of 10% on their opening capitals. So now we have more or less the same set of assets and liabilities. Arun and Varun, they were equal partners. The capitals were 60 and 40. So, I can say the opening capital was 1 lakh. If you notice, the example is just the same as before. Only now, it is for, it was, that was for a sole proprietor. Now, you have two partners with the same set of assets and liabilities. Nevertheless, we have opening capital of 1 lakh. And what is our closing capital? We don't know what is the closing capital. What do we do for the closing capital? We will prepare the statement of affairs to find out what is the Closing capital. Statement of affairs. Liabilities. Rupees. Assets. Rupees. <coughs> K. 
cash twelve thousand, bank thirty five thousand, debtors twenty five thousand, furniture have to take, prepaid insurance is five thousand, investments forty thousand, furniture forty eight thousand. Have we taken everything? Cash of twelve, bank of thirty-five, furniture of forty-eight, debtors of twenty-five, creditors. If you come to this side, you have outstanding salary of ten thousand, and creditors. I'm just trying to keep the order of liquidity. Creditors twenty thousand. Prepaid insurance of five thousand, investments of forty thousand, outstanding salary. So everything has been taken care of. Therefore, if you notice, you'll get ten, fifteen, ten, twenty-five, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. One lakh sixty-five thousand here, and therefore, balancing figure, capital. How much is that? One lakh thirty-five thousand. The only thing is, I don't know how much for A and how much for Arun. How much for Arun and how much for Arun? <coughs> that I do not know. But I do know that the closing capital is one lakh thirty-five thousand. What is the profit for the year? We have closing capital one lakh thirty-five thousand. We have drawings. Two thousand per month and three thousand per month. So can we say drawings? We are adding back the drawings of Arun twenty four thousand, Varun thirty six thousand. That is sixty thousand. Is there any fresh capital introduced? Yes, fresh capital introduced. Fresh capital that is by Varun. How much was that? That's twenty five thousand fresh capital interest. Therefore, that's not a part of the profit. We reduce that, and <clears throat> salary and interest on capital, mind you, are a distribution of the profit. And profit is what we are trying to find out now. So we've got closing capital, add drawings, less fresh capital introduced, and less less opening capital. What is opening capital? One lakh. One lakh. Sixty and forty, one lakh. <clears throat> this is less thing. Therefore, the profit for the year is in seventy thousand. The profit for the year is seventy thousand. <clears throat> now, seventy thousand is the total profit. How will this profit be distributed? This seventy thousand that we have got. This seventy thousand will be distributed as salary to be given to somebody. Who's that? Salary was given to Varun. Interest on capital, interest on capital to both Arun and Varun, and the balance will be will be divisible profit, which will be given again to Arun and Varun. So while I've got seventy thousand profit, I cannot just distribute the seventy thousand in the In an equal ratio or in any ratio, first I have to see what is what are the terms of distribution of the profit. The seventy thousand, how is it being distributed? It is being distributed as seventy thousand salary to Varun, interest to Arun and Varun, and the remaining amount will go to Arun and Varun in their profit sharing ratio. So <clears throat> what we've got seventy <clears> thousand. <throat> So closing capital here we have one lakh thirty five thousand. These are drawings was twenty four and thirty six interest six and four salary twelve fresh capital twenty five. So out of seventy thousand <coughs> profit for the year, total profit for the year is seventy thousand. Salary goes to Varun. To Varun, how much is that? Salary to Varun is twelve thousand. <clears throat> Interest on capital, Varun ten percent, so four thousand. It's been given here. 
Harun is 6,000. Yes, Harun is 6,000. <clears throat> Interest in capital. 6,000 and 4,000. 10,000. <clears throat> Arun. So if I say Arun 6,000 and Varun 4,000. Okay, that's 10,000. That's 10,000. So total profit 70, out of that salary will be paid to Varun 12,000, interest on capital to Arun 6,000, interest on capital to Varun 4,000. <coughs> Balance that we have, that is the divisible profit. How much is that? 70 minus 12 minus 6 minus 4 minus 22. So that gives us 48,000 is the amount of divisible profit. And in the absence of ratio, information given, profit sharing ratio, it is assumed to be equal. Therefore, Arun and Varun will get 24,000, 24,000 each. <clears throat> Therefore, let us just understand what is the balance of Arun's capital, what is the balance of Varun's capital. Arun and Varun. They began with an opening capital of 60,000, 40,000. Total was 1 lakh. Next, <coughs> less drawings. Drawings. How much was the amount of drawings? 24,000. Deduct 24,000. Deduct 36,000. Fresh capital introduced. Add capital introduced. 25,000 Varun brought in capital. Next. <clears throat> Next is the profit. What is the share of profit? In order to know the share of profit, salary, profit was distributed. I'm making a small table here. Salary was for Varun 12,000. Interest on capital, 6,000 and 4,000. And profit, distribu divisible profit, 24,000 and 24,000. How much does this give us? This gives us 30,000 for Arun and <clears throat> Forty thousand, thirty thousand for Arun and forty thousand for Varun. <clears throat> this is the total distribution of the total seventy thousand that have, we had got as profit in the previous slide. If you remember, that seventy thousand. This is the profit of seventy thousand. How has it been distributed, including salary, interest, and capital, and the share of profit? Totally, thirty thousand is for Arun and forty thousand for Varun. <clears throat> so. Profit, distribution of profit, including salary, interest on capital and thing, interest on capital, salary, interest on capital and share of profit is 30,000 and 40,000. <clears throat> Therefore, what we get is... <clears throat> 60, 90, 90 minus 24,000, that gives us 86,000. And <clears throat> here we have 40, 36, 4, 40, 65, and 69. 69,000. 86 and 69,000. So now our Total capital, wait, I think this is 66,000. Okay. <clears throat> 66,000 and 69,000 giving us a total of 1,35,000 which was our closing capital. Now we know the split of Arun and Varun. 1,35,000 we knew was the total capital. 
<coughs> However, now we know that the amount due to Arun is capital balance in Arun's account is 66,000 and that in Varun's account is 69,000. So it is slightly different in a partnership. <coughs> this is a neater presentation of the entire uh, the statement of affairs as at the end of the year we prepared to arrive at the closing capital. We knew this was the closing capital. <coughs> But we did not know how much of it is to Arun and how much of it is to Varun. For that, we needed to prepare capital accounts separately. Before we prepare the capital account separately, we had to ascertain the profit for the year. So we ascertained the profit for the year and then we distributed the profits. How did we distribute the profit? There was salary payable to Varun. There was interest on capital payable to both Arun and Varun. And then the balance was the divisible profit, which was apportioned equally since their profit sharing ratio was not mentioned. In that manner, we came to know the closing capital of Arun and Varun as <coughs> 66,000 and 69,000. <coughs> but we initially prepared a statement of affairs, not knowing these two details, only knowing that the closing total closing capital was 1,35,000. <clears throat> the entire present the entire working that we did the same thing much neater presentation so here we have if you look at the statement of affairs one like thirty five thousand this this needed to be filled in this was the statement of profit closing capital one like thirty five opening capital add drawings less fresh capital we got seventy thousand was the total profit how did we distribute the seventy thousand uh, we paid salary to Varun twelve thousand we paid interest on capital as six and four thousand and divisible profit is forty eight thousand therefore we gave twenty four thousand to Varun and twenty four thousand to Varun then we prepared a statement of capitals with their opening capital fresh capital less drawings add interest on capital, add salary, add share of profit and got a capital balance of 66,000 and 69,000 Arun and Varun giving you a total of 1,35,000.